Hey guys, welcome back to another Blender tutorial, and in today's video we're going to model this pipe connector shape. Something simple, clean, and easy to follow. It's a nice project if you want to practice basic modeling. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, now first add a cube, then go to front view and into wireframe mode, and here select these faces and delete them. Then select this plane and make it small, make it 0.5 meters, so type 0.5 when scaling. Now add loop cuts. Make sure you add 7 loop cuts. Then on this side also add 7 loop cuts. Then select these middle part faces and inset slightly inwards. And then use loop tools circle, make sure the loop tools add-on is enabled, then scale the circle slightly and delete the faces. Now select this vertex and do cursor to selected. Then select this area faces and inset them slightly inwards and then delete the faces. Now select this edge and check how many vertices it has. There are 10, so add a circle and set the vertices to 10. Then scale the circle down so it fits inside this place nicely. Then delete these faces and now select these edges and also select the circle edges. Then go over here and do bridge edge loops. Now select these faces here and delete them. Then slide this edge slightly and slide the vertices one by one nicely. Now select this whole part and duplicate it. And here set the pivot to 3D cursor. Then press SX negative 1 to scale and flip it, and rotate it 90 degrees. Then select the whole part and press M and select by distance to merge vertices. Now add a mirror modifier and select X and Y axes and enable clipping. Then here apply the modifier. Now select this middle circle edge and scale the circle to make it bigger like this. You can also select these circles, set the pivot to individual origin, and scale all circles slightly, and scale this middle circle also. Now select this entire part and move the cursor to the world origin. Then set the pivot point to 3D cursor. Now duplicate this part and rotate it 90 degrees. Now select these middle circle edges on both parts and go over here and do bridge edge loops. And here at the bottom, change the number of cuts. Let's set it to 16 and adjust the smoothness to bend it slightly. We'll make it 0 0.750. Now here, if we check face orientation, you'll notice the normals are not right. So flip it by pressing shift N Now add a solidify modifier. Adjust the thickness like this. And set it to complex. Because if we keep it on simple, you'll see a slight bend like this. So keep it on complex and this looks fine. Now apply the solidify modifier. Next we'll bevel the border edges. So select this edge, press shift G and choose face angle. And in the bottom option, increase the value until all the border edges are selected nicely. Make sure everything is selected properly and unselect all the corner edges because we don't want those to become sharp. Now bevel this slightly. And here make the shape a complete one. And also uncheck loop slide so it doesn't slide these edges. Now add a subdivision surface modifier and shade smooth this. And now this is modeled nicely. We can do one more thing here. Select this entire edge and slide it slightly toward the middle like this. Then add a loop cut back here to make it sharp again. And now this looks good. 
do the same thing on the side part as well. And now this looks good. All right, guys, so we are done modeling this shape. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and also comment below and give your feedback. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.